America's All Entertainment Network. Wherever there is a wrong to be righted, he is there. Wherever humanity gropes for that universal meaning of life, he is there. He is everywhere, for he is Commander USA. Far below a teeming shopping mall, Commander USA enters his video vault to bring you action, adventure, and zany non-stop thrills in Commander USA's Groovy Movies. Today's Groovy Movie, The Thirsty Dead. And now, Commander USA! Seems like a... Oh, hey, there you are. Commander USA here, Soren Superhero. Legion of Decency. Retired. <laughs> I'm glad you showed up today, boy. Oh, yeah, today's gonna be a whole lot of fun, you know what I mean? Well, sure. It's Valentine's Day, isn't it? Oh, yeah, kind of romantic, isn't it? Yeah, kind of one of my favorite days, you know? Gives a... Heck, gives a whole lift to February, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Monroe, how you doing there, pal? Oh, oh, no, no, don't feel like that, heck. You know, it's one day in the year. Now, Monroe's a little upset, you know. Well, actually, he's not into a relationship right now, you know. Yeah, he's just tired of going stag. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, pal. No, hey, we're gonna have a good time today, though, boy. Oh, yeah, it's gonna be a whole lot of fun, you know. Let me just get the radio on here. Yeah, I need kind of, ah, need something relaxing, you know what I mean? Yeah. Hey, that's kind of nice, kind of uh, jumpy, isn't it? Yeah, it's Valentine's Day, and, well, heck, I had a kind of special idea, you know, but Lefty was supposed to... Hey, wait a what? Holy cats. Well, you know Lefty, don't you? Yeah, sure, he's my hand puppet. Yeah, we go back a long ways, boy. Hey, Lefty, how you doing there, pal? <laughs> hey, what the heck were you doing sleeping? I thought you were going to go out and get the Groovy Gazette. Yeah, it was... What? Oh, wow, he did get it. Oh, it's right here. Gee, I didn't see you go out. What? This is quicker than the eye. Hey, don't get me started. Will you, Lefty? Oh, now nah, he went out and picked up the Groovy Gazette because I wanted to check the personal columns here. Yeah, I figured Valentine's Day, boy, I could maybe meet somebody. You know, yeah, let's take a look. Here, grab that with your pal. Ah, thanks. Whoa. Let's see. Holy cats, listen to this one right off the bat. Charming lady wrestler will go two out of three falls with Mr. Wright. Holy gets no hammer locks, please. Must be a body slam, but have a gentle side, too. Well, heck, I kind of like that, eh? Come into my corner and I'll put you on the ropes. Oh, sounds kind of interesting, doesn't it? Hold on. Yeah, let's, oh, hey, here's another Well, Listen to this. She says, I'm from another planet but I want to get to know an Earth man before I return to my own galaxy. I meet most of your female standards. Oh, and I've been told I look like Zsa Zsa Gabor in Queen from Outer Space. Oh, if you're my moon man, send alpha brain waves to these Earth coordinates, and I will filter all responses. If interested, I will material materialize in your oak-paneled hot tub on Valentine's night. Whoa! Oh, wait a minute. I don't have an old panel hot tub. Matter of fact, my tub's in the kitchen. You know? That doesn't sound real romantic. Ah, well, what the heck, boy? Talking about romantic, wait till you see the movie I got on tap today. Yeah, let me just get the telepsychotronic screen open here. Whoa! Man, this is gonna be exciting today, boy. Yeah, wait till you see this. <laughs> shield is really working today boy yeah yeah man this is a great one too yeah it's just right for valentine's day you know it's called the thirsty dead whoa yeah now now see this is kind of romantic in its own well you know perverse kind of way you know what i mean because whoa hey look at what's out there holy God. now get a load of her boy. yeah that's all right oh yeah she's like the star of this you know and, it's played by Jennifer Billingsley. Yeah, that... No, no, not the beaver's mother. No, that was Barbara Billingsley. No, anyway, this is like about a cult, you know? Oh, yeah, and they're into, like, really looking young all the time, you know? They just never want to lose their youth, you know? Well, the problem is their diet. Yeah, they're on this special kind of diet where they only want to drink plasma light, you know what I mean? Whoa! Holy, whoa! Oh. Oh, yeah, this is going to be exciting today, okay?
Hey, we're gonna have a good Valentine's Day, dear heart. Yeah, this one will tear it out, boy. Literally. Let's get going with the Thirsty Dead. Whoa! time in less than 48 hours, a young woman has vanished from the streets of Manila. Ann Coleman, age 18, an American, was last seen leaving the Trinidad Hotel at 9.05 p.m. Police are warning young women to stay off the streets unless they are properly escorted. The government is investigating the rumor that the abductions of a Hong Kong-based white slave ring. For more details, stay tuned to this station. How would you like to be a white slave, honey? Show me where to join. Yeah, well, just peel me a grape, and I might do it. Hey, Claire, are you coming? Hold your horses, Dale, or I'm coming. I got a taxi ticket out here. Yeah, but that's not all you've got chicken out there. What are you doing, playing some kind of game? All right, I told you that I'd be... <gasps> Do you have any boyfriends? Hundreds. Hundreds. Seven girls in a month, all young, attractive, no motive, no clues, no ransom notes, nobody. The Walsers. Hey, can I go? My leave was up an hour ago. The shore patrol's gonna be looking for me. Francisco, if I ever decide to get married, you're the only person I would even consider marrying. Laura, I, uh... No, no, no pressure. It can happen in Tokyo, in Honolulu, San Francisco, Tuesday, Wednesday. But when I am ready, I'll holler, Francisco. And if I am not there? I'll cry a lot.
What is this? Where are we? I don't know. We must have left another one afraid of them. Hello. Do you know where we are? It's me. How long have you been here? This last night. This is Bonnie, Virgin Queen of the Acme Computer Company. I'm Claire. Laura. And what do they want? I think we're getting a free ticket to Hong Kong. Don't say that. Honey, there are worse things. My aunt was a hooker. She had a great life still. She's terrific. How's the work? Oh, wouldn't. Things could be worse, honey. If you can make a buck and not even leave your bedroom, you've really got it. Oh, my God, look at that. Is this when the white slavery starts? <laughs> It's okay, I'm fine.
Seek the guidance of Raoul. Jesus. You're wanted in the inner chapel. You have made the preparations. All is ready. And you have been with them? Yes. She does bear the divine likeness. Yes. I've seen her with the others. There's a special quality about her. Raoul knows. And Raoul will decide. <laughs> oh. oh, yes. This is really new. <laughs>
seed of our seed. Father of our immortality. Bring us the truth across the centuries. Has she been sent to us? What is her name? Tell us her name. Which medicated pad holds more cleanser? It's like... Wait, Claire, wait. Mmm. Mmm. Seems fun. What do I got to lose? You know, these freaky folks have eyes for you. That's true, Laura. I picked up on that. You think that's good? I don't know. The girl most likely to be sacrificed to a pagan god. Oh, well, think in honor of it, honey. Claire! I don't mind. Listen, honey, I've been in worse situations than this. Now, I don't want these people want. But if anyone gives me a bed this comfortable, can't be all that bad. Hey, listen, I was only kidding about that human sacrifice. I'll just consider it an honor.
Are you afraid? I am afraid. Only a fool would not fear the unfamiliar. What are you going to do with me and my friends? Friends? It was understood that you were unknown to each other. You make friends quickly when you share a cell. Unlike most creatures, you need never be imprisoned. Do you mean I'm free to go? You will be free to choose. Who is she? Don't you know? I'm afraid I do. It's me. I painted it some while ago. How? She was traced by my hand, an image out of my mind. Through Raoul, I have seen you clearly, years before you came. I... I... I thought you were civilized. We are civilized, and that takes time. Stay with us. Learn our ways. I'm not free to go. For the time? No. Hey, there you are. What the costumes in this movie are great, aren't they? Yeah. It's kind of like an old costume drama, you know what I mean? Yeah, like that big collar that Baru has on his cape there. Yeah, it kind of gave me an idea, you know? If I had something like that on my cape, then when I'm flying, you know, it could act kind of like a ram charger, you know? And just get the air down across my back, you know, and circulate and keep me cool and everything, you know? Oh, heck, the girls did Boy, the costumes they're wearing <laughs> allows for plenty of air circulation, doesn't it? Yeah, I know it's doing my circulation a lot of good. Okay, hey, listen, we'll get back to the thirsty dead right after this, okay? Okay. Yeah. Save you from growing old like that. The curse of Raoul is on all of us. The price is too much for anyone to pay. Go to sleep, beautiful one. I was once like you not many months ago. Remember? Beware of Raoul. She will take it from you. Beware.
I had the worst dreams last night. Me too. What's that strange singing? They're devil worshippers. I've heard the legend. What are you talking about? I've heard the legends about these tribes in the jungle. Oh, you're crazy. Well, what is that pit we saw with all those bodies? Then that scream we heard. And what's happened to Laura? She'll do all right for herself. I wouldn't worry about her. Her kind always does. I thought my dreams were bad. Being awake seems worse. <laughs> May we go now? Of course. Is something wrong? Why were all those people staring at me? You were the guest of honor. And the girl in the blonde wig? What does she mean? Legend. Oh. This place is frightening to me. It is strange to you. <laughs> strange? It's completely different from the world. I can't remember being anywhere else. Really? That's strange. You seem so... Uh... Civilized? <laughs> yes, civilized. Worldly, sophisticated. I will take you to your quarters. Please put this on immediately. Where's Laura? You will see your friends soon enough, quickly. I can't wear this. I don't think we have a choice. Put this on, they will come for you presently. Are you the... Drink. What is it? Drink. Pass it on. We have all waited for this moment. Are you Ranu? Yes. I am Ranu. Somehow I expected someone older. <laughs> Did I say something wrong? You are very beautiful. Baru has told me so much about you. We must go.
having a good time today. Yeah, Valentine's Day. Hey, listen, if you haven't gotten a present and you need one real quick, I got something you can make at home. Yeah, this is especially for Valentine's Day. Boy, it's great. Call them bonbon briefs. Oh, yeah, you can make this at home, too. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Now, you start off with some syrup, you know, and like I like to use a nice kind of raspberry syrup, you know, but heck, you can match it to the holidays, you know. If you wanted to give somebody parodies, bonbon briefs, say for George Washington's birthday, heck, you could use a little cherry syrup or something like that. You know what I mean, sure. Oh, now, you've seen it when they give those kind of, you know, funny pairs of underwear with all the hearts on it and stuff. Well, this is kind of like that, sure, because we get our kind of flavor syrup. Then you get a nice pair of shorts, you know? And you just dunk them right in there. Now, you want to be careful here. Not get too much of it on your hands, you know what I mean? Oh, sure, but you can do that. Now, make sure you get a nice kind of even tone to these shorts, you know? Because you want them to look nice. And it's going to be important later on, yeah. Now, you get them nice and sticky, see? Oh, yeah. Mmm, smells good, too, you know what I mean? Yeah. Now, once you get that nice and done, you just lay them out, like kind of, eh, just like this. Here, let me, whoop, ah, getting stuck there, yeah. Hey, now you lay them out, kind of nice and flat, and then this is the fun part, boy. This is when you take your little hearts. Sure, you know these, like, little candy hearts and stuff, and you start sticking them around in strategic places, you know what I mean? Oh, this is cute, look at that. Oh, hey, I like that, as you like it, huh? Oh, yeah, they have all those cute little expressions on them and everything, you know what I mean? Now, you just start putting these around and putting them around. Pretty soon, you have a work of art, boy. Oh, yeah, it's the kind of gift that keeps on giving, you know what I mean? Sure, you're on a long trip or something, heck, just unzip it, you got a little snack right there. Sure, pull a couple off and just have a little chew, you know what I mean? Oh yeah, it's real nice. Now once you get that all set, you have them set up just like you like, you take your heart box, sure, and you open her up, and you just put those shorts right in there. Oh yeah, this, now you want to, uh, Oh, wait a minute, I forgot. Yeah, no, you're supposed to kind of freeze them first, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, you want to get these... Well, you want to get them a little cold. Because else it... Well, heck, it can cause problems, you know? Yeah, wait a minute. Got a pair right here that I did earlier today. Yeah, take a look at that, boy. Hey, talk about stiff... Huh? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so... Come up on the short side on Valentine's Day, boy. Make yourself a pair of Bon Bon briefs. Oh, yeah. They'll appreciate it.
people are paying tribute to Raoul. Raoul will keep us young forever. The leaf can heal all. And its essence, mixed with the blood of a young girl in her prime, can produce an elixir, a potion that gives eternal life to the chosen. Raoul chooses the superior ones. The others must return to the earth to be born again. That blood is precious to us. It is our celebration of life. It is our tribute to Raoum. It has been written that one would come and lead us to a new way. Our long wait is over, and you have come to join us at last. Drink. Drink in eternal life. You are not prepared. I don't wish to offend. I didn't ask to be brought here. I can't. The choice is not yours. You have been offered youth and beauty forever. All your needs will be taken care of here. People have sold their souls to the devil for less than that. Would I be any different? To drink the blood of my friend? To sap away her life so that I might live? Raoul chooses. It is an honor for all to serve. It's madness, it's insane. And what do you do with the chosen, with those honored, when you're finished with them, when there isn't a drop of blood left in them? You speak of matters you know nothing about. However, it may be good for you to see what does happen to those who are not chosen. It might change your mind. Baru, have a word with her first, so the trip may not prove necessary. Baru, let me be with my friends. You will die with them. I am not. No one can help you. Please, Baru, let me be with my friends. It is not so simple, Laura. You are part of the prophecy. No, you don't make sense. Life revolves toward the eternal. Nature builds and oh. destroys in search of what can live forever. Please, come drink. Valentine's Day again, right? And you figure you got yourself covered. Sure, you already bought a present for your husband or your wife or your boyfriend or girlfriend or significant other, or local parentis, you know, whatever you're into there. But have you remembered one of your best friends? Sure, your family puppies. 
Oh, the only one that's neglected on Valentine's Day, right? Well, it doesn't have to be anymore, because right up in the mall, yeah, right next to the Yuppie Puppy, is the brand new store owned by Ferd the Canine Furrier. Oh, yeah, Furrier to the stars, boy. Sure, he did Rinty, he did Lassie, he did all the big ones, I think even Benji. So for all your fur needs, get up to Ferd the Furriers. Now, take a look at this beautiful stole right now, modeled by... Tilly, one of Ferd's favorites, boy. Doesn't she look beautiful? Can't you picture your puppy just strutting down Fifth Avenue, displaying her fur like that? Hey, it's a sight to behold, huh? Makes you proud to be an owner, you know what I mean? Ah, uh, what could be more beautiful? So for all your fur needs, whether she likes a mink stole or, heck, a full length with various appendage openings, you know? You can find what you need at Ferd the Furriest. Sure, it's right upstairs in the mall, right next to the yuppie puppy. Tilly, you look beautiful, girl. Hey, why don't you get what you're doing? Because if you do, you get a special bonus of tickets to, that's right, Ferd's Fur Ball. It's the social event of the season, all right? So don't miss out. Get down to Ferd the Furrier, the canine furrier, for all your dog's fur needs. Pour it on quicker. Show me what? Sick, twisted bodies stuck dry. Laura, these people have fulfilled themselves. Their life force flows within us forever. That's their contribution. I want you to share this with us. I want, I want you to know the joy of living forever without the fear of death. In God's name, how can you find joy crippling and abusing people so that you can live? You don't understand, Laura. Oh, I understand. I understand. Listen to me, please. We have the wisdom of the ages, Laura. That's part of our gift. And through Raoum, we've evolved beyond nature. We've combined this wisdom with, with the vitality and beauty of youth. Oh, Laura, don't you see? We must isolate the others. Our existence is the worship of beauty. Their presence, their ugliness would only be an intrusion. No. No, Baruch. Can't you see? Look into yourself. You're worshiping yourself at the expense of others. That's ugliness. That's evil. Perhaps in time you will understand that our every action is guided by the divine wisdom of Raoum. You can't believe that. I know this. The community that survives does so by the light of superior people. We are they. The Chosen. I want to see Ranu. If I am not free to go home, I do not choose your eternal youth. I only want to ask you one thing. Let me be with my friends. I cannot give you what you want. I will not join you. I may be your victim. I may be your prisoner. But I will never join you. Never. <laughs> Heaven. Keep
give us today our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses. Would you cut out that religious mumbo jumbo? Forgive Leave her alone. It helps us. I don't want any crap from you, Miss Teenage America. What do you think's happened to Laura? Oh, well, you see, she has clothes and she has Prince Charming. I just wouldn't worry about her at all. Oh. Are you all right? Oh, oh, it's okay. It's all right. What about you? What did they do to you? It's all right. It's all right. Those leaves that they put on it stopped the bleeding. It, it felt a little funny when they did it, but it just feels strange now. I have to get out of here. Why didn't they do it to you? They want me to join them. They claim they live forever. Why you? There's this old painting. It looks like me. They... They mix the blood with some sort of a potion or something. Listen, do you think they'd like to have me instead? Claire, you haven't heard one word I'm saying. This place is evil. It's voodoo here. We have to get out of here. But how? Uh, I don't know. This whole place is just a maze. Passageways and... Very simple. You will help us? You are not afraid. Anything's better than this. Then come with me. There are many passageways, many. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I don't think I want to leave. Oh, good God, Claire. I'm very comfortable here. You may be comfortable here, but you will also tarry. Please, Claire, come with us. All right, all right. Story of my life, one night stand. There. I can go no But you must go with us. No. They have made me too old, but you have time. Go to watch the hills away from the mountain. Thank you, Eva. We've been by this spot before. Are you sure? No, oh, I'm not sure. Everything looks alike. We should have stayed back there. Oh, they're not going to feel that way when they come.
quiet, Bonnie. Just sit there. Don't move. How did you know that snake was going to go away? <laughs> I didn't. It's either that or taking it off of the book. Sweetie, you're all right. Come on, we've got to keep going. One cool chick. We got to lose. You're learning, kid. You're learning. The heck is this? I didn't order any kind of pack. Please hold for Mr. Topknot. Oh, heck, Mr. Topknot's gonna stop by. Hey, I guess he's gonna come over and pick up the package here. Heck, I wonder what it is, you know? Oh, Mr. Topknot's a very important guy. Oh, sure. He tells me he's a head salesman. Oh, what the heck? Let's take a look, huh? Sure, why not? Just take a peek. Whoa! Holy cats! Whoa! Hey, uh... <laughs> No, I've never heard that dialect before. Do you know the way to Manila? Manila? Tulum? Um, I think she's telling us to get some rest. Good idea. Lie back, lie back, relax, relax. Help! Somebody help! Help! It's okay. She's gonna go get help. Go get help.
My impulse was to let you escape. Maybe I should have. But you couldn't. No. I'm wondering... Why? I could run to someone once, my arms outstretched, all smiles, yearning, giving, wanting, laughing. Now I don't know what I feel or if I feel I'm... I'm... dust. You're being romantic. There's a f old word. What a time. Yes. I know. Holla. Why are we going through here? I've been told to take you through Orlick. Exciting. Well, you know, I mean, being Valentine's Day and everything, boy, this is really great, you know, and I was kind of wandering around up in the mall, you know, just trying to get some new kind of groovy ideas for presents for Valentine's Day, you know what I'm saying? And I came across a new store up in the mall. Yeah, it's called Michael's Mystical Meats. Oh, it's a great kind of little... You know, and he had some neat ideas. Yeah, take a look at this. Now, this is a favorite of mine, boy. Yeah, it's kind of like an ancient traditional gift. Yeah, like the Aztecs used to give, you know? I mean, hearts. Now, you're just talking hearts and flowers, boy? These are hearts in flower. Oh, yeah, they're really great, boy. It makes a nice little kind of organic gift for your friends, you know? Oh, yeah, it's really great. Now, if you want to go all the way, though, boy, this is it. Oh, yeah, this is the biggie, boy. This is the, well, heck, the real piece of resistance. You know what I mean? Take a look at this. A genuine beef heart. Mmm, doesn't that look good, boy? Yeah, heck, you give this to your, well, heck, your husband or your wife or your lover or your friend or anybody, and heck, how could they resist something like that? Oh, look, this one's even moving a little bit. Yeah, that just says it's fresh, you know what I mean? Sure, still pumping, boy, and it'll give your friend the idea that you know where you're going. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so get yourself up to Michael's Meads, boy. Give a little part of yourself. Waiting. It seems like an eternity. Cavity? Fetch me the guards. Bring them to me in my chamber. You're wanted in the observatory at once. I'll remain here until your replacements arrive. Go.
I've got a good body, they'll take me. I'm staying and you're not gonna screw it up for me. You're not going anywhere. Get out of my way. All my life, people have been telling me what to do. We'll be morning soon. We must take advantage of the darkness. Quickly. Mm 
Peru cannot get beyond the Ring of Age. But we must stop the others. Go, quickly. Go find them and bring them back. But do not go beyond the Ring of Age. If you must, guard, you go on from there. Go! through the jungle, and the others know it as well as I. Now, our only chance is to keep ahead of them. Please, we must go on. Come.
it's a new... Oh yeah, we're getting close to Resolution City. Oh yeah, this ending is great, but hey, has it struck you that the guy playing Baru, you know, John Considine, he looks strangely like Victor Mature, doesn't he? Yeah! Oh, you've noticed that too? Well, in the end of this movie, he's gonna even look more like Victor Mature. Can you believe it? Oh yeah, this ending is gonna make you flip, boy. Oh heck, the writer must have stayed up for, you know, like hours thinking up this ending, boy. Oh yeah, it'll really be great. Now you'll see what I mean, because we're heading back right now for the conclusion of Thirsty Dead. <laughs> It is my punishment.
out of that place.
it in me. I don't really know what happened to the girl. But there's no way up or down from that mountain. No, no, no. We were up there. Not only right? that. You go 50 feet oh, right now. Oh, and you get chewed up by poisonous snakes. They're crawling all over the place. If this is the mountain she's telling us about, there's absolutely nothing down there. Okay then, you better come down now. I was there. I was. Time again, huh? Sure, time to close up the old video vault, you know what I mean? Yeah, let me just get the radio turned off here, boy. Yeah, I left that on one week. Oh, man, the bill came in at the end of the month. Eh, almost plotted. Hey, buddy, wanted to remind you, you know, that next week... Ah, okay, Roland, good job today. Wanted to remind you that next week, heck, I'm not gonna be here. Nah, taking a lefty down to Palm Beach for a little vacation, you know? Yeah, getting some handball and stuff, have a good time. But right here on USA Network, it's going to be pro tennis, boy. Yeah, it's the Pilot Pen Classic from Indian Wells, California. It's going to be real exciting. Okay, so I'll see you in two weeks right back here in the video vault, okay? Okay, till then, keep your nose in the wind and your tail to yourself. See you, pilgrim. <laughs> Next Saturday, the Aces of Tennis take the court at the Pilot Pen Classic. Semi-final action begins at 3. One hour from now, Viker moves in with Bannister. They're the oddest couple on Check It Out. Then it's a party in Bel Air, hosted by the Sanchez family. Now stay tuned for the USA Saturday Cartoon Express, next. Laugh and play, swing from the trees all day, and then...